नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू इंस्टिंक्टिव बायोलॉजी दीज डेज एवरी सेकेंड वी ओपन आर सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट वी ओपन द टी वी चैनल्स वी ओपन द न्यूज़ पेपर्स वॉट वी सी इज द थ्रेट ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन ना वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज दिस कोविड नाइन्टीन वी विल सी इन दिस वीडियो इन अ वेरी सिंप्लीफाइड मैनर This video is prepared as per the data obtained from scientific reviews till 12th of April 2020. This video will discuss about the nomenclature that is why the virus was named so, what is COVID-19, how it is transferred from one person to another that is the transmission and what exactly happens when the virus enters the human body. that is pathogenesis so please stay tuned and watch the further video as we know any fire cannot be fought blindfolded we should know every detail about the virus and the disease the name of the disease which corona virus caused is known as covid-19 to be more in a simplified manner corona virus disease now why it is known as covid-19 because it was first reported in the late 2019 in wuhan state of china the disease is caused by a virus called as corona virus the virus is named so because when an electron micrograph is taken it resembles a crown like structure so corona this virus is caused due to mutation in the original virus so it is known as novel corona virus ictv that is international committee on taxonomy of viruses has officially named it as sars cov 2 that is severe acute respiratory syndrome corona virus 2 who is continuously monitoring about the outbreak now what exactly is happening in the transmission sars or corona virus are the type of diseases which are zoonotic in origin that is they can be transmitted from animals to humans also corona virus family is a large family of viruses which can infect mammals and birds certain animals are the host for such viral genotypes they do not cause infection in the host but the host can transmit the virus to other animals the virus is host for bats so in the sars 2002 virus which was epidemic in china in 2002 the virus traveled from bat to civets and then from civet they broke the species barrier because of the mutation in the virus the virus could be able to infect other organisms like human beings the scientific data tells us that in sars cov 2 which is the covid 19 global pandemic the virus was a host to bats then they infected a intermediate host that is pangolians through pangolians it traveled to humans now let us see the structure of the virus the virus has spikes on its surface which are called as s protein it has m glycoprotein it has n which is a capsid protein and it is a rna virus so it has rna as its genetic material genetic material of the virus is rna how the virus is transmitted whenever a infected person coughs the nasal droplets of the infected person carry the virus particle and a normal person in the close vicinity gets infected so the virus spreads through direct contact through community contact this virus can also stay on different surfaces like metal plastics anything 
for how much time it stays that is not yet scientifically proven it also transfers through zoonotic transmission that is from animals to humans but this is a very rare event now what happens when the virus enters a human body the human cells have ACE2 receptors on their cell surface. They are called as angiotensin converting enzyme receptors. These receptors interact with the virus. That is the virus S protein, spike protein interact with the receptors present on the cell surface. This is like a lock and key model. The virus attaches to the human cell with the help of these receptors and can very easily open the doors to the inside of human cells. Now, let us see what happens when the virus enters the lungs. In the lungs, we have alveoli which are doing gaseous exchange. Alveoli are sac-like structure which resembles a balloon. When we inhale, the balloon is inflated. When we exhale, the balloon is compressed. For this purpose, alveoli has two types of cells. Type 1 pneumocyte, which is doing the gaseous exchange. And type 2 pneumocyte is producing a surfactant, a solution which keeps the surface tension in a decreased form. Because the surface tension is decreased, the alveoli walls cannot stick to each other and they inflate. Now, what happens when the virus enters the lungs, enters the alveoli? In the alveoli, it specifically interacts with the type 2 pneumocyte. So, on the cell surface of type 2 pneumocyte, there are ACE2 receptors from where the virus enters the type 2 receptors. When the virus enters inside the cell, it is done by the S protein present on the virus surface. The S protein splits into two subunits S1 and S2 and then S1 binds to the membrane and S2 helps in membrane fusion. So now the virus is inside the type 2 pneumocyte. The RNA genome of the virus is released using the host machinery that is the human machinery. The virus synthesizes its own protein it produces its own nucleic acid and now the virus forms the entire structure that is the complete virion particle via endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex the virus is assembled and packaged into the vesicle and released out of the cell Inside the type 2 pneumocytes, these viruses are replicating. Obviously, when they replicate inside a cell, the cell is giving an inflammatory response to the other cell. This is a part of our immune system. When the inflammatory response reaches to the macrophages, they get activated and they release molecules like interleukin 1, interleukin 6, and TNF. These release IL-1, IL-6 and TNF causes vasodilation that is increased capillary permeability because of this all the plasma from the alveoli leaches out and when it leaches out it tries to compress the alveoli it causes alveolar edema it is very difficult for gaseous exchange to take place moreover these plasma leads enters the alveoli after entering it will obviously decrease the surfactant now when surfactant is decreasing in the alveoli the surface tension is increasing when the surface tension is increasing, alveolar collapse occur.
the alveoli starts wall starts sticking to each other and because of this there is very less gaseous exchange which is called as hypoxia so the persons infected are having difficulty in breathing and this may be very very fatal and which is a major symptom of covid 19 apart from this IL-1, IL-6 and TNF continuously move and send signals. When these signals are sent, the neutrophil also reach to the site of inflammation. Neutrophil are our immune cells which try to kill the virus by increasing the reactive oxygen species proteases. But because of this, the virus is destroyed and our alveolar pneumocytes are also damaged all these immune complexes deposit in the alveoli so further altering the gaseous exchange further increasing alveolar edema alveolar collapse inflammatory mediators travel to the CNS and they reach the hypothalamus they cause prostaglandin to release a molecule which causes fever induction and there is rise in the body temperature which is a symptom of covid 19 now there is shortness of breath cough and fever the disease may turn fatal because the inflammatory mediators travel to the heart, spleen, liver, kidney. In the heart, again the capillary permeability increases. Capillary permeability increases. There is decrease in blood volume, blood pressure. It has an impact on our heart. Moreover, it has an impact on kidney because of decreased blood flow. There is increased creatinine. It also has an impact on liver. So in this way, it can cause multiple organ failure, septic shock. People with different immune system respond to the disease differently. To, so in some, they might show common illness and in some it may show respiratory failure and multiple organ failure so this is what covid 19 can do inside our body these are some of the references which have been used to make the video and we should also tribute give a tribute say thank you to all the health professional administrative staff our police department who are continuously protecting us supporting us and giving their unconditional dedication to just protect us remember my friends the virus cannot move in fact we are moving the virus so stay at home stay safe Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe to Instinctive Biology. Thank you.